Well, we are continuing to follow the developing story out of Orlando, Florida. And this morning, there is new cell phone video giving us a glimpse of some of the terrifying moments and chaos inside the Pulse nightclub when a gunman went on a shooting rampage early Sunday morning. We want to warn you that the video is disturbing. Marley Hall has the latest on the investigation from Orlando. This grainy cell phone video showed more than a dozen people packed into a bathroom stall as Omar Mateen went on a deadly shooting spree inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. Miguel Leva was shot multiple times. We just tried to keep everybody as calm as possible and, and keep him quiet so he wouldn't come back in there and shoot at us. Sources tell CBS News Mateen checked social media for trending topics like Pulse Orlando and shooting in the middle of his killing spree. Investigators say he also exchanged an I love you text with his wife, Noor Salman. She's been cooperating with police, but officials suspect she knew about the plot and will likely face charges. President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden visited a growing memorial in Orlando Thursday. They left 49 white roses to honor the dead. We will not be able to stop every tragedy. We can't wipe away hatred and evil from every heart in this world. But we can, we can stop some tragedies. We can save some lives. Nearly two dozen victims are still hospitalized. One of them is Angel Cologne, who was shot six times and was one of the last people to get out. My name is Officer Omar Delgado. I'm one of the ones that uh, helped you uh, get out of harm's way, man. Thursday, he met his hero, Omar Delgado, the officer who risked his life and pulled him to safety. I just saw him, his size, his glasses, so I'm like, just help me, please. Marley Hall, CBS News, Orlando. Now, investigators are looking into possible financial support that gunman Omar Mateen may have received from family members, including his father.